All right, Josh, a lot of traditions this week. You have Thanksgiving coming up on the Iron Bowl, and this week another NBC tradition returns, a 22nd year of celebrating man's best friend during the National Dog Show. And today we're getting a preview with the show's host. Joining us live now over Zoom, John O'Hurley and David Fry. Guys, thanks so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. Nice to be sure. with you. John, you have someone with you. Who are your friends? No, oh, this is Monkey. Monkey is a 12-year-old Couton de Tulia. It's a, a dog from Madagascar, and uh, and the coat on this, I wish I could share this with you because it's it's like absolute Pima cotton. It is just the, the purest uh, coat I've seen on a dog. <laughs> David, who do you have with you? I, this is a Bring Your Dog to Work Day. I have my own dog, uh, my Cavalier King Charles Spaniel named True Dat. Aww. True dad. So true that's dad. when you say to her, wow, what a beautiful dog. I can say, well, true dad. Oh, she's so sweet. She looks a little sleepy there. <laughs> <laughs> she, I put her, I've made her work hard. She's not in a union. I can make her work hard all week long. <laughs> John, I, I mentioned earlier, this is a tradition for so many folks at home. What can people expect this year? Well, we're going to have uh, nearly 2,000 of the top dogs in the country. There'll be uh, 200 breeds uh, that uh, are represented, representative of every shape, size, and configuration of the canines there in the room. It's just a lot of fun. Uh, and people are amazed to see the, the entire world of dogs. We always think we know half a dozen breeds from growing up in the, with the neighborhood dogs, but there are 200 of them. John, one of my favorite parts is learning about the new breeds. Are we going to see some new breeds this year? Uh, no new breeds this year, and that's not by design. That is just by coincidence. Um, we'll have probably more next year. But when we started, we uh, back in 2002, we had 165 breeds, and today we've got the 200. So as you can see, uh, the show has really helped a lot in bringing the visibility of dogs to the public. Over the years, have you found breeds that you'd never heard of with the show? Oh, yes. In fact, every year they always try and come up with the name of the one that, that I can't pronounce. <laughs> um, the Mexican, the first was, the first and most difficult was the, uh, the Mexican hairless dog, uh, which is uh, the Cholo Eats Quintly. Uh, I had to put that on my shaving mirror for about three weeks and, and uh, work on that every day to try and get uh, that pronunciation down. But there's, uh, yeah, there, there are quite a few uh, dog names that I don't have down that I have to work with. We are able to tell everyone that we speak four different languages, but it's limited to dog breed names only. What do you both get most excited about as you get closer to the show each year? Well, I think... Um, it's a very social uh, circle backstage, and uh, it's the last remaining bench show uh, of all of them. Uh, and a bench show means all of the dogs, the owners, the handlers, the breeders, they all stay backstage during the show. So the interactive, the interactive audience is walking up and down the aisles, and that could be anywhere from 10 to 15,000 people have a wonderfully educational, wonderful educational experience as well as they can talk to the, the breeders and, and see if there's a, a dog that, that might be a, a breed that's correct for their lifestyle. It's almost like an annual a gathering of all the dog show people. It seems all of our dog show friends have come. We want to be at the show. We can socialize with our friends. We can talk dogs with our friends. But we also get the opportunity to show off the dogs that we've bred that are in our breeding program and compare notes amongst all of our competitors as well as uh, those people that are interested in other breeds. It's like a family reunion in the dog show it world. Is like it is that. <laughs> Anything else y'all want to say about this year's show? We have a little parallel competition running for those of you who are interested in non-breed uh, specific uh, dogs uh, as well as the uh, purebred dogs. We have Purina's Thanksgiving's Top Dog Competition. If you go to ThanksgivingTopDog.com during the show, you'll have an opportunity for you to vote for America's Top Dog. And it could be any breed or any configuration of breeds. All right. I love that. You know, folks love to get interactive and be able to participate. John, David, thanks so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. My pleasure. Thank you.